gold is one of the four categories where people are supposed to pay zakah over we have gold and silver and also falls under them money the second category is the animals that we feed on such as uh, or limited to camels, cows and sheep and the categories that follow those the third category is the crops that come out of the ground the fourth category is the merchandise that, that is prepared and used for commerce just to be sold and bought gold has two conditions that once fulfilled zakat must be paid the first condition is known as nifab and nifab means the minimal amount that the person should possess so that he would be legible for paying the cat and what is that minimum uh, uh, amount the scholars say 86 or 85 grams of gold so if you have in your possession 85 grams or above or more then you're legible for paying the zakat providing that the second condition is fulfilled and that is a whole year a whole lunar year passes by so if I have 100 grams for 12 months on the last day of the 12th month I have to pay the zakat which is 2.5 percent of the amount that I have and I have to do this for every single year if for the past 16 years both conditions were fulfilled and I did not pay the cap why I was negligent I didn't want to then I have to calculate and estimate for year number nine for example 19, 1995 I had 200 grams so it cost so-and-so in 1996 I had a lesser amount so it costs so and so I have to estimate and give out the zakat but if for the past 16 years I was under the impression that there was no zakat mandatory because I heard a scholar or two or five or ten say that it is not mandatory to pay um, zakat for the jewelry a woman wears so I thought that I fell I, I, I fell under the this category but only found out last year or this year that this is not the most authentic opinion well if this is the case then the past 16 years there is no zakah uh, obliged for you because you were following a, a good uh, a trustworthy opinion which is not authentic, uh, uh, the most authentic but it is a respected opinion and you were following scholars who told you that it was not mandatory therefore you are not obliged to pay it who do you pay it to? You pay it to the poor and the needy. How do I classify the poor and the needy? Well, the poor or the fakir is the one who is stone broke. A person who barely finds food for today and tomorrow, maybe three days, maybe. But the needy is someone, who, or the miskin, is someone who is better off. Yet he does not have enough to sustain an honorable life but he has enough food he has a shelter he doesn't have money to pay the bills of or the hospitals medical bills he doesn't have money to um, get married he doesn't have money to buy his kids books for example he, he can take them to school he doesn't have money uh, for their books or for their uh, uh, pens the poor guy he has he does not have money to buy his children's shoes to go to school with. So these are the people who you can pay money uh, of the zakat to, and the Muslims and those best.